they're just these little yellow birds. What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are here in Bahia Solano on the west coast of Colombia. We got my crew, where are we at? We got Captain Eric from Michigan. If you guys see my walleye fishing video, Captain Eric has come with me to Colombia. We got some new guests. We got Aaron and we have Preston and we have Chad who is with our group down here. He's got the red shirt on. <laughs> right now all the boys are loading the luggage onto the boats where we're going to fish our way to the Darien Lodge. Oh, I'm gonna get my shoes dirty. Hmm. I'm gonna take my shoes off. We got two groups fishing um, for this week. So we're gonna go ahead and load the boats. And this is our half day of fishing. Edward, say hi to all your fans. Hey again. <laughs> You guys remember Edward from last year? He helped us on the Orinoco River. On the bait caster. Wow, oh, oh. it's a sardinata. Oh. No way. It was a sardinata? Yeah, it was a sardinata. It was a good one. Ah, oh. ah there's more dirt. <laughs> Instructed pokers. You right? Yeah, I got him. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. You guys, catching these piranhas here have been absolutely insane. I'm going to try to show you guys their teeth the best I can. I know the GoPro doesn't focus very well. If he bit you, he would wreck you very bad. Which was one year ago and we caught a bunch of really cool fish. Pyara, piranha, massive peacock bass. Um, I don't even know what else, man. Some really cool freshwater fish. Hey, Nico, say hi to your fans. What's up, guys? <laughs> and we have Nico is here from last year, too. He was with us on the river and the saltwater side. All right, so these are our two boats. All the luggage going on. Yo, there is a massive dog on that boat. I'm assuming that's the guard dog up there. Look at him, it's a Great Dane. Look at him. Hello. Great Dane. Woof, woof. All right, so we just rode for about an hour and a half and we came up on some dolphins out here and there's two panga boats out here fishing for tuna as well. So with these dolphins, the tuna run with the dolphins. So we're gonna throw some top water, some poppers and see if we can't get those tuna to eat. Oh, there we go. Everybody cast fast. Oh my gosh, Aaron took Your first tuna. Get out there, get out there! Oh my gosh! Cast, cast, cast. Go Chad, cast! <laughs> so, we went ahead and moved spots because the tuna weren't with the first pot of dolphin. And right here is the perfect scenario. We have um, a better kind of dolphin. They have a white belly. There was birds everywhere and the birds were sitting on top of the water as well, which is a good sign for big fish. Oh, look at it! Oh. Oh wait, who who else caught a fish? I don't know. We have three on. Three? The boat's gonna tip. Go. He's bleeding. Why is he? Oh, from the from the hook. He has a blood trail. I guess it's from the hook inside. Heck yeah. Ready? <laughs> So right now the mate is hitting the head of the tuna with a bat just to knock it out and stun it. That way we can bring them into the boat. Um, it's not splashing blood everywhere. The treble hooks aren't flying everywhere. It's just, it's safer and it's more humane for the fish. Heck yeah. 
All right, I'm going on this side. Everyone's on this side of the boat and it's leaning. There we go. It's a nice warm up fish. Heck yeah. Little baby guy. Awesome. Grab it to the third side. Right here. I didn't even jump at all. Three? Dang. Perfect. Look at that. Nice and easy. Oh, it's not done there. Mételo al compartimiento y le echó un poquito de hielo. Perfecto. Alright, so it looks like we got dinner tonight. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna throw the popper now. Ahora le metemos hielo a él. Is that your first elephant? Yes, sir. Okay, we'll, we'll take it hard out and you can eat it. Okay. First yellowfin tuna. It's actually not bad, eh? Fish Columbia, baby. What does it taste like? Not bad. Sushi? Yeah, it's like a, a little a little more uh, taste to it. Your Pretty feel good. still pumping. Look, see that? There it goes here, Slim. Off of the stern. Mmm! Woo! Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of tuna, it seems there's different sizes. Woohoo! Oh, oh, keep her in the water, keep her in the water! Oh, <laughs> that was insane. Did you see that eat? Oh, okay. That was fly fishable. Taylor, are you recording on this? Yeah, Oh, you're on! Dude, get out of there, get out of there. This is so fly fishing with you already. I got it on this side. Woo! Oh. Guys, guys. All right, so I had a little yellowfin tuna on. I got him to the boat right here, and then I stuck his head out of the water. He went to grab the gaff, and unfortunately, he just came off. Sometimes when you have smaller fish on bigger lures, they come off. So we're going to go back around to the school and cast on them again. They're so feisty. So when you cast, I'm seeing you do like a lot, like just like like something like that, like yeah. bring the hands all the way up. Before, last time you did before you cast, it's just it's like behind you like that. <laughs> so then you sort of yeah. And then you just catapult it like this forward. At the same time, you go like that. So right now you're doing it like you're doing some really, yeah, you're doing some really, really um short cast. Yeah. But it's very important you look behind you. If you guys are in the setup where it's like like this, it's the safest. That way there's no one behind you. If you're someone next to each other, kind of dangerous. What the heck? Big tuna. <laughs> Hey, aquí no está la, no, ahí no tienen de nada. No, yo no veo, yo no andaba, tienes que ver, yo te la monté lo que tuve. Yo lo voy a acabar ahorita, que no, que te pasa. Here's later. Oh, that's why. He's tail hooked. Me ha robado, ¿no? Pero bueno, está grande. ¿Sí? That's why. Hey, Camilo, tenés cuidado que ese bicho se mueve y te engancha. Te mueve y te engancha. That's why he was being a little extra feisty. Hooked in the tail. So sometimes the fish will come up and strike it, but miss it and hit it with their tail. So he was acting super goofy. Oh, 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 oh. They're blowing up a little further out. Woo! Oh, bite! Oh, oh, yeah. Double up! You didn't even move it, dude. Oh, cast, 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 get out of there, fast. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Like it? Mine just still taking on. Oh, you guys are tripled up. No, oh, mine came off. I don't know. It. Uh, no, no. Uh, oh, I think it got dehooked. Oh, That's yeah. what happened. I can see it. Yeah. Woo, a dolphin. That dolphin's air time. You see that? Yeah. The dolphins are flying out of the water. Oh. What happened to oh, yours? Yeah, lost it. Came off? Who's still hooked up? Are you still I hooked am. up? Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Got wet on that one. So Preston and I were hooked up, but my tuna just went boo right under his line. And I think his line de-hooked my tuna. Alberto. He's the owner and operator here at Fish Columbia and the Darien Rod. The Darien Lodge is saltwater Fish Columbia and Fish Columbia is the freshwater side. Correct. Fishing in Columbia in general covers all bases. And you guys are doing safaris too now, right? Yeah, we're doing also wildlife trips, uh, bird watching, whale watching, scuba diving. But yeah, we focus on fishing here in the salt. And right. Uh, yeah, right, right now we're on the yellowfin. We're about eight miles offshore, and there's about as many yellowfin as we want. There's a bunch of yellowfin out here, uh, a bunch of nice little butter balls, which are perfect for the first day. Super fun to catch. I mean, you're just flipping them in the boat one after out. the other. So we're super excited to be here. And well, today is tuna day for sure. Um, after we're done fishing, we're gonna head back to the lodge, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm super excited to show you guys a new lodge that Alberto has built for the Darien Lodge. Last year, if you guys saw my video here, we got a little drop on the camera. Uh, last year was the old lodge and he's been working on this lodge for the past like three years building it. And it has a swimming pool and massages. So it's a super, super awesome place. Thank you. All right. So Eric and I said one more cast. And we really did. Dude, this is a hawk of a know, rod. A different class. <laughs> I don't know what I got. Keep going to put on my hip. Right. Mine's a little bigger. Eric hooked up, and I casted mine right in the same area Eric hooked up. I didn't even move my popper. And that tuna smoked it. Come on, fish. I just don't understand why I'm so whooped right now. <laughs> These aren't walleye. So I don't know if you guys remember or not, but when I was in Michigan fishing with Captain Eric, my friend Maria, who as you guys know, screaming Maria. Get the net! Get the net! Get the net! Get the net! Light tackle, light tackle. Oh my god. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, 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 oh,
Yeah. That's this what we're talking about. Woo. Is it a vent Mm -hmm. uh, an so we're gonna go ahead and release my fish he just has a little bit of flesh wounds on the side there because we have plenty of tuna in our box eric see all those losses added okay, no. up they I know he's got fish the big bait big fish apparently there you go that's a trophy Woo, look at that Oh my gosh, that is a good one. Uh, Here, yeah. take this for me. Four, four. Gracias. And, oh my gosh, so back to my story. Uh, Maria casted one more time and she caught the only small mouth bass. And it was just a hilarious moment. We got a good tuna in the boat. Yeah, for sure. Congrats, dude. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Here you go. All right. Oh, that is the biggest bite. Oh, oh. oh you gotta swallow. You gotta, swallow. You gotta, you gotta say yeah. that tastes good. It's actually, it tastes just like sushi. It I think yeah. it tastes salty. If like. anything, you can put some soy sauce on it. Yeah, no, it's terrible. Good, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you might as well just eat, put the whole thing in your mouth. Say you gotta take a big bite, so I'll take a big bite. <laughs> oh, that is good. That is good. You're just gonna chew it? Bubble mm -hmm. gum? Is it gonna make you gag when you follow it? Yeah. <laughs> awesome, no, it's awesome. like one chewy part I can't swallow. Ew. If I got rid of that part, it'd be good. Good job, Eric. It's probably very it's good, good for you, though. Hmm? So we're blessed to be catching it's all zeros. Zero. Pretty much, like we're what eight miles. What do you do, like sideways and forward? Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good one. Yeah. Thanks, pal. Do you have a scale? Yeah. Can we take guesses? Do you have it on the boat? All right, hold on. Can we pick it up first? Yeah, you can it. you can pick it up first. We're gonna make guesses on the weight of the fish. We well, gotta bet. Uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta bet something. I don't know. It's a bet. A lure, a lure off your tackle box. Whoever's closest to the weight. <laughs> Who's tackle box? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whoever's closest to the weight of the fish that we guess can pick any lure from anyone's tackle box. Uh -oh. Thirty-two. Yeah, Thirty-four. I'm gonna oh, say. Oh, you gotta pick one. You gotta pick. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. The price is right or what? Yeah. How, how much do you think it weighs? I'm going thirty-two then all day. All right. Thirty-two. Oh, did you say thirty-two or thirty-four? What was it? I said thirty-six, but I'm he thinking twenty-nine. Now. <laughs> oh, 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 maybe he's really big. I don't know. <laughs> There's like thirty-four on the on the floor. Yeah. What's your guess, Aaron? I'll go. I'll go thirty. Nobody's done thirty. Thirty. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. What was your guess again? 34. Alright. I'll go 29. Oh, she does all hell it. 31. You know what? I'm going 29. The captain says 31. I said 31 too. 31. <laughs> I'm tired though, so maybe it can add 3 pounds. Alright, let's do it. Oh. Gentle, gentle. Ah, 31. 30. 28, 29. How much? No, he doesn't know how to read a boga. Ah. <laughs> 29. No, it's over 30, yeah. 31. 31. Oh, there we go. Now that one. Kelly and Capitan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is so sick. I almost changed it to lower because I always overestimate fish. A lot of times the bigger ones will be under the smaller ones. So then when you're throwing lures, the smaller ones will eat your lure first just because they're on the surface. There he is. He's bleeding. He like, he like, bled, he bled himself out, that's for sure. <laughs> the tuna was uh, double hooked, so one in the mouth and one in the side. He shook, released the side hook. Now he's bled out. But right now we're gonna wrap up tuna fishing. We have plenty of tuna in the box for today. And we're gonna go hit the reef and see what we can't jig up. Fish is bigger? Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah, 
It looks just like your jig. Hey, no. No, it's a morena. It's some type of slippery dick eel fish. It's pretty, whatever it is. It is. That's beautiful. That is wicked. That would look incredible in a fish tank. Yeah. You just got a fish tank aboard. We are going to have one. It's got some teeth. Hold on. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll take a, a bite. Wait, where's the sun? This way. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. If anyone knows in the comments below what this fish is, let me know because we ain't never seen it before. It's got some like yellow spots on the belly, orange. That's cool. Preston, you got a fish on there? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. We thought he had bottom and then this thing started moving. Oh, I see color. Oh, tuna? Oh, oh. Wow. What do you know? A bonita? Nice yellowfin. Inshore. Inshore yellowfin. That is hilarious. So we come in from offshore, leave the tuna, just to hit the rocks to catch tuna. Well, dang! Nice fish. Well, imagine that. We hit the rocks in the reef to catch maybe some grouper, some jacks, some rooster fish, um, almacos, and Preston catches a tuna. It's your biggest yellowfin? Okay, yeah, so far. Nice. Today? Four today? Yeah. Oh, bring it up. Oh, bring it up. Okay, it's on. Press the middle. Press the middle. Press the middle. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. I just saw a sailfish free jumping and we're casting lures at the sailfish right now and he keeps following the lures to the boat so I don't know if he's gonna eat but it's really cool to see him act he's right there oh he's right oh he's right there no 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 he's turning around your ball again yeah change that for me to like like uh this sailfish is literally just circling right here so we're all casting different lures at the sailfish and he's just chilling he's hanging out around the boat circling following in the lures and he's acting super cool even if we don't catch him it was just really cool to see the way he's interacting what did you just set out there alberto i made a belly strip we're gonna throw it on top of him next time we see him okay i hope we get him that would be so cool <laughs> all right so we are all loaded up in the panga and this is our transportation to get to the beach they're gonna do two trips with our luggage, but right now we are rocking the raccoon eyes. 
I did not have a chance to really put sunscreen on. And I want to give a shout out to Hella Dry because this bag has kept my cameras, my batteries, and my laptop and all my chargers dry when we were fishing today. that greeted us last year. His name is Chester. <laughs> what a good boy. Oh, why? <laughs> He's so happy. Oh, here's another pup. You get him, Chester. What was that? A sand dollar. Oh my gosh, they're every wait. They're everywhere. There's little tiny sand dollars. Wow. And they're dead too because they're white. So a live sand dollar will be brown and a dead one is white. Check that out. All right, so we're gonna get settled in and get all of our stuff situated. Look at the dogs living their best life. The sand is super soft. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys the beautiful lodge that we are walking up to that we're staying at. Holy smokes, it's incredible. So as we walked up to the lodge, the lady greeted us with some fresh coconut water, some natural electrolytes. The boys are being shown to their room right now. Oh, and we got a nice cool towelette. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm gonna check out your guys' room. So beautiful. Wow. You guys gotta share that bed. Wow. Oh, yeah. This is like, this is way bigger than I thought it would be actually. Mm. And Alberto is still working on a couple other rooms as well. But let me show you guys the pool. Dude, this is so cute. Check this out. There's like different levels of tiki houses. This is magnificent. The birds are chirping. Yeti. 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 Hi, Yeti. Hey, guys. Alright, we got the fishing rod racks, recycling, hammocks. We have our dinner and breakfast tables. Check out this mahi skull mount. Wow. Bunch of skull mounts over there. Oh, see this right here? You see this fish right here? That's the goal for me. Big ol' Kibera. Mmm. Got yeah, some lures. Merch. You gotta have the merch, man. I'll tell you right now, the hammock life's for me. I'll be in this hammock. And last but not least, check out this pool. Oh! A Yeti! Oh. What are you barking at? This is incredible. All right, you guys, I'm gonna unpack. And we'll see you at dinner. Oh, 
pasta criolla, which is another kind of potato. Okay. Yeah. Potato. Rice. We have seared tuna, rice. Mm -hmm. His, what do you say? Potato. Potato. Papa potato. <laughs> Some salad. This is looking so good. Oh my gosh. You guys, I know it's super dark out here, but yeah. we're all getting some dinner. We're making a little bit on drink. Top of, uh, caramelized onions. Oh, caramelized, caramelized onions. Oh my god, this looks amazing. I'm gonna try this potato thing. Oh my gosh. Our potato thing is good. It's got like a crispy outside and then like a super soft inside. Wow. That is amazing. Mm. All right, you guys. We're gonna sit down, enjoy dinner. We're all pretty exhausted from our first day. We still gotta organize all of our stuff and unpack, but we're gonna grub down, but we'll see you tomorrow, bright and early, and we're gonna be out there fishing again. So right now, be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave a positive comment below, and we'll see you guys next time. We'll see ya.